Uh, Mike, ESCOM has a, a very complex set of tariffs for customers, and this is made even more complicated by municipal rates as well. Should all companies be paying the same for electricity? No, I don't believe they should all be paying the same. I believe that there are market forces that would drive prices up or down according to demand, according to the periods of time that you might take the power. But the discrepancies that we're being led to believe, and I say led to believe because ESCOM are not actually disclosing anything, are way out of market norms. And this is what I want to challenge. Now, of course, we, we have heard that there are so-called sweetheart deals um, with some large industrial clients. In fact, about 138 big companies who are paying lower tariffs. And small companies, though, who perhaps need the lower tariffs, left out in the cold. Well, yes, uh, that would be correct. Um, I, I, from my stance, we are not a small user of power. We use nearly a million rand a month. But the industry at, of which I form part of uh, is significant. Uh, it probably uses up to two billion rand uh, worth of power a year. So it's, we, we're not small consumers, but none of them. That's not one of the companies that I deal with uh, are privy to these special deals that uh, ESCOM are giving these 138 companies. And therein lies my, my area of complaint. My area of complaint is one that I believe we are subsidizing our competitors. And by that I say we are subsidizing the, uh, uh, we are subsidizing probably, if it were disclosed, the aluminium industry, we might well be subsidizing the glass industry, we well, well, might well be subsidizing the steel industry. All of these people are competitors of the plastics industry and I see, I see that there's absolutely no reason whatsoever why we as an industry, and I'm not speaking for the industry, there's industry spokesmen who will do that, but why we as an industry should get a lesser deal and be subsidizing the companies with whom we're in competition. Why have you as an industry not approached Telcom and tried to get a better deal for the industry? Uh, you mean ESCOM? Um, we've, oh, did you say, I thought you said Telcom. No, we've, Sorry, ESCOM, uh, yes. the industry has, uh, the uh, Plastic Converters Association have certainly been in talks many, many times uh, with ESCOM in order to get deals, but to break through the hierarchy there, I think, appears to be very difficult. And I'm saying that uh, ESCOM has had a somewhat checkered history of uh, odd uh, maladministration and, and economic inefficiencies. Uh, they're a parastatal. Uh, they can't keep their cards that close to their chest. They are going to have to disclose to the people who them, they're ultimately responsible to the South African public. And for them to talk of sweetheart deals and not disclose that, I just think it's absolutely out of the question. Of course, we know look, many of these deals are historical, going back to when Moselle was built, when big smelters were, were built in the, in the country, and used really as a, as a teaser to get those, those companies to invest in the economy. Do you think once they wear out, we should have the same deal on the table for all industries? Well, again, because ESCOM have not yet divulged these things, of the 138 companies I hear, only two were historic deals. Um, therefore, that follows that 136 are not historic deals. Uh, I believe that all of them should be on the table. I think that if you are going, if the ESCOM board is agreeing to spend north of, uh, of 30, billion do, uh, 30 billion rand on, on revamping ESCOM, they need to look from a commercial aspect of what the internal rate of return is going to be on that investment. You can't simply have an open-ended uh, uh, equation where in order to make the books balance you simply come through with preposterous increases that you're asking not only industry but also the general public to fund and you're sitting with a, a, a group of companies supposedly uh, uh, consuming 44 percent of ESCOM's power and they're not being asked to uh, uh, contribute in any way possible. That is just totally iniquitous. Well, just looking at these increases that are coming through, and it works out at about 25% a year over the next three years, you already said that you're paying about a million rand a month for electricity at the moment. What's this going to do to your energy bill going forward? Well, clearly it will, it will increase and there's a compound effect depending on what, what, uh, what is eventually decided upon. Over a three-year period, we might well have an energy bill going up by 80%. Um, you know, that is simply unacceptable. That 80% would have to be passed on to the consumer. And, and, and there are, I, I'll, I'll come back to my other major cause of complaint. And as I said, I'm talking, talking from a commercial point of view. If we, um, if we are subsidizing our competitors, I believe that is anti-competitive. We have a very robust competitions tribunal in place. 
Uh, they've shown teeth, and I believe that ESCOM needs to divulge all of this information to them, and if they think there's a case, I believe that the tr competition tribunal would have to move against whoever might be responsible for giving uncompetitive advantages to people trading within South Africa. So that's, that's a very strong standpoint of mine. Um, the other, sorry, did, did you want to come in on that? No, continue. Okay, the, uh, the other complaint that I have is, and it, uh, this is from a d slightly different viewpoint, is that if we, if we are uh, supplying electricity to whosoever at costs which are below the recapitalization cost of ESCOM, that is clearly a non-financial proposition. Therefore, I'm suggesting we just turn the taps off there. I think it was done in California, if I remember correctly. They were short of power. They worked out what the cost was of increasing their, their, their power requirements. And they found that one of the greatest offtakes was a, a smelter. And the Californian state authorities simply went out, bought the smelter, and closed it down and solved the problem. So I'm saying I wouldn't know these figures because they're not being divulged to us. If Richards Bay Smelter is an uneconomic proposition for ESCOM and for South Africa for that moment, close it down. I know it sounds crazy, and BHP Billiton are probably thinking I must have lost my mind. Uh, but the reality is we bring Boxit in from, uh, from Australia. We use our power, highly subsidized, and then we send it out of the country and we congratulate ourselves on being very clever businessmen. I'm saying somewhere along the line, this needs to be interrogated. We, you know, we, we need somebody with some authority, with some financial standing to interrogate all of these deals to find out whether we, uh, the companies and the, the private individuals in South Africa are not subsidizing international businesses who have the ownership vested in, in the New York Stock Exchange or, or FTSE or something like that. I, I just think we need transparency and that's what's bothering me at the moment. Well, we know that the Cape Chamber of uh, Commerce and Industry has called for an investigation into ESCOM's deals with the aluminium industry. Uh, as the plastics industry, have you taken this case to the competi competition tribunal? Have you approached the competition authorities to look into it? Uh, no, not as yet, because this is still very fresh. As, uh, as an industrialist, I stomached the, the rises we had last year with, with some reluctance. Um, I, I, I was almost prepared to stomach completely unreasonable rises of 25, 28, 30 percent in electricity, way above inflation rates and hardly, hardly driven by oil prices. Uh, I was almost prepared to, but when I actually found out that there were cozy deals going down, which was resulting in my increase being higher than it ought to be, that's when I said, this is not good enough. And I'm going to demand of ESCOM a disclosure. And if that disclosure comes out that there is an unfair competition, yes, then I will certainly send it to the competition tribunal. And I'll get them to get a ruling on it.